following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman. This is the Tiger Technicians Hour. I had the pleasure of subbing for uh, Tommy Jr. for this last hour uh, for his uh, market kickoff show. And of course, I couldn't do anything even close to what he does. He does, he mixes the uh, fundamentals with the technicals really well. Um, I could just do the technicals, and that's all we were looking at. So yeah, we are. The Dow is up 27 to 35,941. Made an all-time high yesterday of 36,009. Leg E. This E can extend. Now the big question for me is: Has this recycled to a brand new buy signal to a buy mode? I don't think so. I think this is going to be a leg E. Maybe goes to an F. Uh, you've got the um, diamonds. Now diamonds already in leg F. I, I think we're getting close to some kind of a shorter term top. And it just means a shorter term top, not a monthly or anything, just a shorter term top for some sudden bad news that flourishes and, and, and kicks the market down for a little bit. And then I think we start to go higher because stocks, when, when the market, certainly the Dow, when the Dow has a good comeback in October and closes the last week of October or the first week of November, close to the yearly high. In this case, it turned out to be an all-time high. Then there's a really good chance that no matter what, even if there's a choppy sideways market, at some point, the December close is really close to that particular high. We'll see what happens. Um, as I always say, the day is young. <laughs> we'll have to watch this closely. But in the meantime, back at the ranch, you've got absolutely key support in the 35,700 to 5,500 area on any major turn down at this particular point in the shorter term. And that's major on the short term, that is, not the weekly. Weekly is still very strong. And on the upside, if there is a close in the Dow above 36,130, that's really important because it says, hey, now my friend is 36,000. It's not just a, something I want to touch and run from. And that's going to be important. So I'm saying 35,900. Uh, it says to subscribers, it could be strong resistance. I'm watching this very, very closely. We remain long. We've got a plan that we would go. Uh, short if certain conditions are met. Uh, let's just do one thing at a time. And now we're going to go to S&P is making an all-time high as we speak. Uh, 46.25, 22 up 11. Uh, 46.27, 31 was the all-time high today. Uh, it just cleared that whole 4,500 uh, area that we thought 45 and 44.90s was resistance. Bam, you go right through it. And now 45.90s should have been resistance. Bam, right through it. It's just amazing how um, how volatile to the upside this market has been up until now. Now, I've got a couple of things that I wanted to look at here because I want to talk about this just momentarily. For those of you who are new to my work, in the Chapman Wave methodology, we're always looking for from an from what I call an identifiable low bar, we want to count each successively higher peak. In that context, we go, we count the waves sequentially, looks like a sawtooth wave here, but it goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, higher highs, but it's at that fourth highest peak that other things can happen. And what happens is, in the Chapman Wave methodology, we go from a buy signal to a buy mode. The buy mode implies that you should go to at least four higher peaks, and then you have to assess to see what's going to happen. Well, we're only in leg C in the QQQ. We still have to have a lower high bar. That's the whole bar. You have to have a, a lower right side high and that will give you your peak C and then it's called the floating letter and until it makes a peak D by going to leg C above whatever peak C was sorry leg D that's where you start to say oh, okay now we've got to be be careful other things can happen but in the meantime the QQQ is acting well the MACD is good stochastics at 97 percent fabulous on balance volume says uh oh a little overbought but the 90 is way above the 14 and the price is way above the 9. So with that said, let's go to um, the IWM, which had a spectacular session yesterday. And even today is continuing higher, 234.75, up 76 cents. And this is now leg D finally in the um, rectangular formation, long time rectangular formation 
uh, weekly chart of 234.53, March of 2019. That was the week of the high of 2021. And it plummeted down to the 208s. Uh, it ran up again, fell back, and now it's in leg D because that peak C1, C2 has finally got that leg D. And that is uh, with a high today of 234.85. Now, when I, was early, when I started Tommy's show, um, we were fractions underneath. Now we're above 234.53. How, how do markets know after all this time, months from March to now, April, May, June, July, August, September, six months, and all of a sudden it goes to what? Within pennies of the previous high. Unbelievable how that happens. Now, does it continue here, or is this going to be a leg F turned down? Is there some kind of news? Is it the election today that suddenly the election results scare the market? I have no idea, but we'll see what happens, because so far, at this particular point, everything is looking very good. Let me have a drink of tea. Got it. I'll lubricate the, the vocals. <coughs> this goes back to when I used to do three days of seven hours at least of full, talking nonstop, um, paying the penalty there. I always remember Clinton when he was on the on the road and his voice started to get more and more raspy. And it took him years before. In fact, I don't know if he ever re recovered from that raspiness. Um, so uh, got to be careful, I guess. Uh, we're, we're looking at the SMHs, the Semiconductor Index. Now, I've got a bunch of questions I want to get to. I'm going to get to them in a moment. So the SMHs are pulling back from the intraday all-time high of 279.77. Ooh, ooh, this is going to be interesting at 278, round number right now, up $1.22. And a V-shaped pattern, how it closes above the 276.69, uh, previous high of August, August the 16th. Um, is going to be important in this V-shaped pattern. Maybe I'll talk about that a little bit more. What I do have to say is that we've got an F slash C in the monthly chart. Unbelievable. F slash C. I'll turn the count. I've got to keep that. I'll turn the count for now. And then we'll talk about what's going on. So let me just continue. Gold was down a little bit. Now gold is down, down six at 1789 in the range, just stuck in the range. Silver is, uh, it's a, wait, wait. Gold is at 1790. Silver is at 2359. Oh, this is a big move. Big move down, down 47 uh, ticks, uh, having hit the 200 period moving average. And you remember peak D, the fourth highest peak. Watch out. This is that pullback from peak D. But it's still nicely in the higher range um, of the shorter term. But the weekly chart says, wow, it's gone all the way from the 28s uh, down to the 21s, and now it's bounced to the uh, just touched 20, uh, 2480, and now it's down to 2358. Watch this closely. So this is a clue to say that money is really going more. When it, you're talking about commodities, let's just treat the uh, Bitcoin as a, a commodity in a sense. Um, and it's got a, um, a peak D at the all-time all high. Oh, I forgot to type that in. Let me type it in now. 66.310 was the all-time high back in, I think, April, May. And then it pulled back very sharp, just under 30,000, 28,000. And now you've got an all-time high of 68.030. Oh, 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 oh. 68.030. Um, and, and we're trading at 63.560. So this, oh, I'll talk about, this is a pattern you want to look at. But when I get back, I want to talk about the VIX index. I want to talk about yourself. I'll be back. Basil Chapman, Dow's up 26. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, well, just to quickly finish up our overview uh, here, we are looking at the Dow 42 S&P sub 11. Now, uh, U.S. bonds uh, trading at 160, sitting right on the 200 period moving average for six sessions, broke down earlier on late September. That that support was just pierced, bam, went right through it. Now it's become resistance, and that kind of fits exactly what we were looking at in the TLT, that it's gone sideways. It's rallying to have 25 cents in the TLT at 146.68. It is a peak C, and the MACD is good. Stochastic's at 82%. On balance, volume is not good at all. On the uh, relative strength, RSI, is at about 53%. It's, it's okay. But I'm just giving you parameters to watch, regardless of what our thinking is. A move into the 149.70, 150.20 area says, you know what? Yields are coming down, and they're coming down quite quickly. Uh, a push, a, a pull back to the 100, under, closing under 144 says yields are going to that higher level and just keep it in mind that's going to be really important so here we go i wanted to do a couple of things um, as we're looking at this uh, a question about platinum platinum has made a peak d it's at the, sitting on the 200 period moving average at 1045 it could zigzag look it's already done look how important these moving averages are you don't have to use them all the time only when they come into play 200 period moving average for the past since about October the uh, 12th, the 13th, this has been the touchstone. Every time it's gone up and down, it's like a sine wave, like a like a, a zigzag over and under, yo-yoing above and then below and below and now it's below. So that's going to be 1,045 is important. If, in fact, it closes under 1,020, be careful. That says platinum continuous contract pulling back. But so far, it's just hugging it, and that's really important. Um, now, I, want, I had a couple of questions. I want to get to them right away. I don't want to run out of time. Question about fuel cell. Um, Basil, I had fuel cell, FCEL. Let's go to fuel cell right now, F because it's on my watch list as one of the screamers. Um, it's trading at 9.40 right now, down 13 cents after hitting 9.96. And just uh, three, four days ago, it was at seven, in the 7.50 area, 7.40 area. So I had a few sell an Atom. And another one that we had once, once owned Atom is uh, Atomera Inc. I discussed this. It's, it's Semi's material licensing technology, Mir's silicone technology. I've been trying to read up about it. It's, mm, 
and it's not that easy, but it's it making, uh, pattern-wise, it's making an arch, the lowercase h that goes to a lowercase m pattern. So let me continue. Just wanted to show you the charts. Now we can talk about them um, in, in, a, in a functional way. On my watch list this morning, as possible trades and missed them. Fuel cell made a high of 949, well, it went a little higher today, and did a high volume over 68 million shares. I'm looking to buy the pullback if we get it at 818 and use the stop somewhere at 789. What are your thoughts on this stock? So now let's go back to fuel cell. I like that that um, Joe is actually planning his trade. I, I suspect, now, one of the things I'm looking at here is if there is a pullback in crude oil, the question is going to be, do, does the whole area of alternate energy become a focal point for buying, or do they just generally subside together? This is a leg C. Remember, oh, let me do this as a Chapman Wave methodology uh, explanation. You see this low in the weekly chart of FCEL, fuel cell um, energy? Well, that low of $5.34, that this high cannot be called A. Why? Because in the Chapman Wave methodology, only after you make a trough can you start calling the next highs as legs to the upside. Only in the Chapman Wave instant restart where you make a peak D and within three bars you make a new recovery high to make an alternate count E slash A, um, is it possible to have the low bar actually also become the, the uh, high bar? That's the only time. So in this case, this is not an A. You have to wait. Look, there's no trough. You have to wait for the right side to make a higher high. So from this one, you can say, oh, maybe now I can start an A. No, you can't because it's below the previous high. You have to make a peak or you have to make a leg up. There, that leg is above the high of 754, the high of the 17th of, of, of September. And now you can say that's your gray leg A, gray, because it's just starting a move to the upside. And this becomes gray leg B. And until the stochastic gets to 80%, or you get a certainly strong technicals, and the MACD is still, it's good, but not great. I don't know if I can call this a buy mode just yet, but it is leg C. Um, and on balance volume is not that great. I think it's more sideways action, but I am going to say I don't think it's going back to five to that five dollar range in this particular move. So I will start at least to put an up arrow to say we've gone from a buy signal. There should be a buy mode going to at least a leg D in the weekly chart, unless it just tumbles below 720 or 710. And right now it's at 927. So that's my analysis there. Remember, this bar cannot be the low bar. You have to say, yes, now it's a low bar because you've got a higher bar and you've made a trough. You have to make a trough. Okay. So in this particular instance, yeah, that could have been called an A, but an A minus because it broke and went below it. This is an A minus because it broke and went below it. So that's what we're looking at. So this is leg E, like so many stocks and indexes, etc., all going to this magical D and E area right now, somewhere even in F. We've got to be a little bit careful here. So your plan, it's a little high at 818. But that's the way I would treat it. And I'd, I'd deal with it if there is a sharp pullback. In other words, if by Friday, all of a sudden you're looking at fuel cell not trading at 10.35, but in fact pulling back to $8.45. That's where I start looking at and say, how does the 200 period moving average now become a, a, not just a magnet, but a propellant rather than a repellent? So um, let's see what happens uh, on any pullback. So your plan here is good. Be prepared to revise it a little bit, only if it goes higher than, if it goes into the 10s, uh, I would start to think of a different plan, and the plan might be to nibble on any minor pullback, but to have a plan to enter your really good position, but it might have to be above 8.18, but stick with the plan right now. What are your thoughts on the stock? And ATOM, I also missed my potential entry point of 21.71, ATOM, and let me just say, I've gone through, I, I might have missed one or two uh, emails if you want to send, just send it right on now. I'll check them out. I'll make sure that I get them before the show if I've missed your question from the day before. 
uh, yesterday or today or the day before. So here's the lowercase h. I'm going to say hold on on the semis because I do think semis are getting a little choppy here. I wouldn't be surprised if we do start to see some kind of a pullback. But this is not acting like a leader at all. Uh, whatever they do for licensing near silicon technology, I'd see nothing. So I'm going to say hold off 2175. It's a 2162 right now. I could be wrong, but that 200 period moving average of 21.14 is going to be key to my analysis. I'll look at it again tomorrow. Next question is, I had a question here saying, um, Nick wants to know, good morning, Basil. If and when the short side shows up, will you consider recommending UVXY three times ultra VIX short term futures ETF or similar VIX related ETF? Uh, regards. Yeah. So let me just see here. A U V X Y. We're getting close, I think, to at least a, 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 an attempt at an entry. Other than the back, not many you right. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks, we're back. So let me just go to this question. Actually, there's another question as well that I, I forgot to answer yesterday. I've got to get to the next. Uh, I think it was Greg wanting to know about FUBU. So let's just let's see UVXY. Yep, three times. Look, as we were talking, um, you could have you could have bought this at 1575. It's now it's 1571. It's down uh, already just a percentage wise uh, quite quickly. It's just so risky that you've got to time it almost perfectly. And this is one that I would I'm not sure I'd want to be in loose overnight just to kind of have it. 
Uh, this is not something you want now. It's, now it's 1565. Look how quickly you're losing money here. So the timing has to be perfect. What I've done is that we are long a particular index. And I said today, if a certain price is hit on the inverse, it's actually the two to one inverse, just start a position there. And we'll have the two positions. But as you get that, you have to get out of one part of the, the long position. So we're now mixed up, but we're sacrificing a little bit because we're in a little early, only because in the index that I'm looking at, I think maybe we're getting close, closer to some kind of a pull. But look at the quick bursts of energy to the upside we're looking at right now. So you have to be so careful. Um, and uh, all I can say is that the UVXY is a trading vehicle. I'll say in my newsletter when I think it's appropriate, I've taken it off my list for a long time now. I wanted to use this space for other positions that we have. We have a number of positions. I have maybe 16 bullet points and uh, some things we aren't in, but I always follow, etc. But most importantly, this has to be time perfect. Absolutely, just uh, almost to the minute. You, know, you actually want to get it and you are the bottom tick of the next move to the upside. Uh, you, you you don't want to be seeing it pull back and then say, oh, I was right, but oh my God, I had to sit through a a, a big a, a percentage, at least on that position, percentage loss. So I'm saying rather the particular way that I'm doing it now, I think, I, I'm not sure, but I think is closer to what I, 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 I eliminate. It doesn't eliminate, it alleviates some of the pressure if you're wrong. And that's just the way I'm doing it now. As a trading vehicle, I will mention in my newsletter when I think it's appropriate, if you're, this is the vehicle you want, where you could actually just nibble. And if you nibble, it means instead of being aggressively long, a three times short the um, New York Stock Exchange, or in this particular case, that's what we're looking at, UVXY, um, you are... You've got a small position, but a small position in three times, even if you have, instead of um, 100 shares, you, you 10 shares. That's still, I mean, you still, you know, it's uh, something you got to watch. So I will mention that. I think we're getting closer in this particular instance because it's a UVXY. I'd even wait for the Qs to maybe get to that leg D before I attempt it. I'd rather be doing it my way. Uh, because if I'm wrong, I uh, stop is so tight. It's not even what a one and a half percent risk on a two times short position. It's nothing. You either getting it getting it perfectly, or you say I'll try again. You can do it two three times at that point. So I rather risk not going for the big big bucks, but rather just the smaller. And you can add if we're wrong, you're, you're right. You're going to see the volatility index very quickly within days not just make a pop to the upside at 15.95, it'll get to 18.35 or higher, and it'll close close to the high of the day. Then you know you're right, because the next day there should be a sharp sell-off. So I, I just say, I know that you're looking at it, I know you're looking at it closely. The risk-reward, I don't see it in your favor right now. There are just too many buying flurries that are taking it higher, and that's the way it looks. Uh, uh, F-U-B-U, and I just, I couldn't find it in this quick look that I had now. Is it F-F-U-B-U, -U, uh, B-U? No, no, no. Oh, F-U-T-U, F-U-T-B. Is that T, no, 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 no. Oh, I wrote it down, here it is. F U B O. <laughs> Thank goodness I wrote it down. F U B O. It was TV something. Yeah, it was Fubo TV. Uh, so the question, oh, I haven't got the question in front of me, but let me just do an analysis of it. It's in leg E, maybe a peak E right now in the daily. And this is Fubo TV Inc. Because obviously, the, I think it's sports TV. Uh, it's made a leg C in the weekly chart in the rectangle formation, trying to make that cup formation. What we were looking at yesterday uh, in the den together wasn't SAVA, it was that other uh, instrument. Oh, I can't remember it offhand. But in the meantime, okay. So, um, but it had that uh, um, declining channel and then it broke out sharply above it. Uh, so this is acting very nicely. Now, the question was, if, you, if you're looking at it, I know that uh, the particular person who asked me about it, 
um, does quite detailed work. I'm just going to say I'm pleased that it's done what it's done. And it had a, a real nice move from the 22s, 23 area up into the 33 area. Now it's at 32. It's in play. And because the weekly chart is broken above, the week still has until Friday to go. Let's see if it closes above this downtrend line. Monthly chart has had a spectacular move up. From uh, from five or something like that, six, all the way to the 60s, a tenfold increase, and then plummets down to the uh, what was that low? Uh, plummets down to around about 13 or 14, and then runs up to the 33 area, and now it's pulling back. So it's in play with huge swings, and because of that, I'm going to say I like it. I'm going to try in the next break to find your question uh, because in this particular instance, all I can say is if you're in lower down, and I think you were because you, you, it, it was yesterday that you emailed me, so you probably got in in the 29s and it's already hit the 33s and it's trading at 32.17, but it could pull back, it could fill in this candle. So the way I'm looking at it is stochastic and MACD are good enough to say if it can hold 31.70, and in the next two days, instead of closing under 3170, 3150, that area, it actually breaks above the high of 3345 that was made yesterday. That would be really good action. And I say, just stay with the position. In the meantime, I'm going to find your question itself. But I don't, I would be not very nervous, but I'd be a little nervous if it gave back 50% of yesterday's candle. In other words, if it was actually to close Intraday, if it broke under 3160, I'd say, whoa, you got to be careful. But if it closed under 3150 in the next two days, I'd say, you know what? This particular very short term move to the upside is probably done. It needs to resolve uh, the, the overbought, uh, the, the uh, overbought on balance volume situation a little bit more, and then we'll look at it. But my weekly chart says the whole area of 30 point 31. 20s to 30.70 should be a containment area because it's trying to make uh, it, it hasn't broken out. Actually, I really want to see it above 30, closing above 33.68 in the next week because that'll say, yep, now it's in play. Hope that helps you. So a couple of questions are there. And now I also wanted to do um, FUTU was a question. FUTU we had a horrible, a horrible a gap down. It's staying in, remember my rule, three, the three bar rule after a gap. It hasn't even filled the, uh, it's trying to fall into the, into the gap into the 60s. It's trading at 55.94. I'll be right back. That's a chapter title. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. We're back. Actually, uh, Greg said, morning, Basil. Could you take a look at FUBO for me? I'm in at 24.05. I was going to add, but this morning it started to take off. What do you think? Uh, thanks, Greg. This is, so, Greg, <coughs> you're in at 24.05. You were going to add at about uh, 29 something, 30, and it took off. So, all I can say is, Number one, congratulations. That's a fantastic move from the 24 area to 32. Who? Eight points. Um, really nice. Congratulations. Good percentage gain. Um, the next question is, where would you get in? Well, I just have a little patience uh, because the month, the weekly and monthly charts are su suggesting this is kind of in a choppy range and that there should be a pullback. I don't think it should break under... Unless the really negative conditions, that whole 29 to 27 area should be very strong support. That's the way I'm looking at it right now. But as an add to, because it's had such a big move, I'd have a little patience. And I'd say probably I, I would let it go if it goes higher than this. But on a shorter term basis, the number that I'd be looking at is between 30.20 and 29.80. If it does pull back to that, it says, okay, deeper correction underway. That's kind of the area that should be the big support. And that's the way we'd look at it. But right now, I, you know, if you didn't grab it as it was moving up, I'm not going to tell you to grab it uh, two points above where you were looking at it. <laughs> so um, that's just, let's see if you can get those two points on the way down. So I want you to do one other thing is um, right now is uh, we were talking with Kevin earlier on about Zillow. Whoa, down 9.90 at 87.39. Um, I, I didn't want to say anything to him because he was talking about the options, and I don't, it's now unfortunate. Wow! If the options were at the time that we were talk, talking about uh, about it early this morning, when it had gone from 100 and, 103 point, no, it was 104.05 uh, on the 29th. Yesterday, a big red candle. Today, another big red candle started at 87. A lot of people are talking about this. I, I was going to mention to. Uh, to Kevin, I didn't really have time, that as I recall, they had gone into the house flipping. That's a, They actually called it, I think, that when they went in a, a, about a year, 18 months ago, maybe a little more. Um, and maybe that wasn't such a great thing. We'll see, because they've gone from 208 uh, back in, uh, that was February. Yeah, February of 2021 of this year. 208 trading right now a little lower at 87 i mean that is one big tumble so uh wow 208 to 87 yeah that's a real problem and that's what we're seeing here in the market we're seeing as i said before within sectors you've seen look at the hgx this is the housing philadelphia housing sector look 
it's up near the um, the bounce highs, not the all-time high, which was uh, in the 538-ish uh, area. And it slumped down to 440, and it had a 439, screened up to the 484-ish area, and now it's 473. So it's... It's funny because within sectors, you can get huge divergence. Look at this SPG. This is uh, Simon Properties. A huge gap up today to 159.97. All-time high of Simon Properties was, uh, I used to have this so totally notated, it's not now, was this Chapman Wave two-bar reversal, 229.10 high, July of 2016. 298.47 high August of 2016. So it's gone from just about 230. It slumps down to the 40s, 41, I think it was, back in March of 2020. Screams up to 155. This is Simon Property. This is the whole COVID thing. And look at the nice recovery. Now look at this gap. Is this gap going to be filled? We don't know. But this is, I really have to call it a leg C in the weekly chart. I could call it an alternate account, a G slash C, but I don't see why. The ma Everything has turned positive, 93% in the stochastic in the weekly. I, I like that. So I'm calling it a, uh, a leg C. So you can see that with even within sectors, I mean, we spoke about this when I did Tom's, Tommy's show, uh, the RTH, the market vectors went to peak A, peak B, peak C, Peak D, it made a peak D right here. This is RTH Van Exer, Van Eck vectors. I just don't have the uh, right now. Yeah, and here's the Chapman Wave falling axe formation. You could have one more pop to the upside, but it is almost at, it's within a, a couple of points of an all time high, all time high in the market vectors after the COVID. And yet uh, the, the administration is still talking about pouring money into the economy. I just, uh, I, I'm not, I don't quite understand it. Maybe it's beyond me. I just don't know. But that says, wow, money is there. People do have money. Otherwise, they couldn't be spending like this in the retail area. Okay, so, so question there, question there, question there. I wanted to go to, um, had a lot of, there it is. So let me see if I can get this. So that's quick views. Got it. There we are. Snap. Uh, Jane. Hi, Basil. I have a couple of calls on Snap. Could you please give your opinion on this? Thanks. So Snap. Here we go. SNAP. Ha. So Snap, as I recall, was doing great. And then kaboom. It goes from a peak F in the weekly chart, probably an F in the monthly chart, and a peak D in the daily. Remember how important these peak Ds are in the daily chart with a high, an all-time high, I believe it was, at 84, or was it 83? 83.34 on the 24th of September. Makes this cup formation and tries and tries and tries, and bam, it gets hit. And what happens is it gaps down uh, on the um, 21st of October. It's trading in the 73, 75 area. Next day, it's trading in the 55 area. And then it slumps down to the 51s. Yeah, yeah, 51.66 on the 27th, and now so. So you didn't tell me, uh, Jane, exactly which calls, uh, strike positions you have. My suspicion is that you, 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 you're real close. My guess is I, I shouldn't just guess, but I'm thinking. So I would do this. I have a three-bar rule with with the um, gaps upside or downside. This on the downside did exactly what you're looking for if you are negative. You want to see it gap down, fail to get even into the gap on the upside of the bar that broke down. Instead, it closes below the left side low of the gap down day, tries to ready, fails, and it makes lower lows. This is a really negative scenario. So if I was you, in terms of the, uh, the calls, it's trading at 52.91. Let me just do this because I, I really don't know which uh, calls you're looking at. Uh... Okay, let me just go here on the 120-minute chart. Uh, yeah, you see lowercase h goes to a lowercase m pattern with a very small, couldn't even bounce very much. Ooh. You know, even if you said to me puts, I'd say this is tough because right now it's in the rectangle formation which says I'm, in a, I'm stuck in a narrow trading band. 
I'm gonna do a little work during the break. I'm gonna do that, and then I'll get a chance to do what I was asked about way earlier. And I said I do the public show, and I said I do it in um, this is Sherman Williams. I'll do them both. When I get back, we'll do a quick synopsis on Sherman Williams, and we'll do a quick synopsis on Snap. Guys, it's Snap. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. In these two minutes, let's just go through this quickly. So Sherman Williams is trading at 312.28. It's up 2.19 after making this uh, chap wave two bar reversal. I do have it at a peak C. A lot, uh, a lot actually looks like it's more like a D. 323.82 to 323.30, and now it's pulled back. I this is make it real simple. If it closes above 315.80 at any point in the next two days that's kind of bullish action and it's probably going to try for a leg d but if it starts to fail here my target would be <coughs> excuse me if it can close today's low is 310.92 if it can slide to 310.40 between today and tomorrow 308 the 14 period exponential moving average would be my next target to the downside and a lot of it based on this 120 minute chart it uh, looks like downside is really in play right now. So I hope that helped you. Next question was snap. And all I can say is, uh, you know, call position right here at 52.93. I'd be real careful. Uh, I, I don't know if, if it is in if it's in this month. You've got weeks to go. So, yeah, that's fine. Uh, but I would you, make it real simple. If snap trading at 52.95, 
can break above whoa, 54 11 that's really asking you like all right if it can get above 54 11 i would immediately just have a trading stop in your mind and say i will exit the i'll ex exit one position and i'd hold the two and let's look at it again tomorrow so that's what i'm looking at because if it starts to slide under 52 40 it's just stuck in this range i don't think it's going to break more to the upside i think it'll probably break a little bit more to the downside next question was qualcomm uh what was the question qualcomm uh good morning i got qualcomm today at 135 for earnings play it blasted up to 152 in august what do you see in the charts thank you mike so qualcomm so, Mike, what I'm looking at here is that within Qualcomm, it's made a very quick PP, C, D, and E. It's on the 200 feet moving average. The news has to be fantastic to get to the 139 area, because otherwise, I think it's going to pull back to the 132 to 130s. So, just be a little careful. That was Jeff signing off. The wonderful day. I'll be back with Tom O'Brien later this afternoon.